finally famous, nigga. Bitch, my life is nothing but a G chain. Pick up a hundred G's, she take off a G string. Click full of G's and some badass bitches. I know you head to the streets, okay? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Oscar the Grouch Nine, and I'm gonna be trying to show you guys how to build a nine digit combination lock. Hopefully, in like nine or ten minutes, you know. The way it works is you want it to like, open back up. I accidentally had this thing shut, so. <clears throat> oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Okay. You're gonna type in your combination. Okay, it's gonna open up for you. And, you, and mine, I have it just wired up so you can see it just to make this faster for me. And uh, that's what it looks like when you get inside all that mess of wiring. But, um, I don't actually, my creativity is not that great, but I don't see this working in a house. You guys could probably do it, but I have some delay on there so it shuts so I can get in the door and lock myself in. <clears throat> so, yep, let's do it. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That makes nine. Place a button on each one, like so. This as fast as possible. Hopefully, you can keep up. Torches on the whole back side. Okay, then you're gonna come from the center one and dig one, two, three, four, five. Redstone here, repeater here so it cuts off circulation of this torch because we're trying to get this torch not to affect it see so it doesn't do anything there and it works there so just keep placing this and then put a repeater here then we're gonna come right here place it here and then place some here and then you're gonna put a repeater here and some redstone here and then you're gonna do the same thing on this side and just there in there and then you're gonna place a repeater here and some redstone here then you're gonna come up top and you're gonna place a block there and a block there and then you're gonna extend it to four so this will be four blocks long then you'll start coming down so you come down like this and then this and then this I think no not right okay let's make sure that's one, two, three, four long. Yep, and then we'll do this and this and this. Yeah, I did it wrong the first time. Excuse me for that, guys. And you'll break that and you'll break that and you'll get like a staircase system. Okay, so then you're gonna come up here and place some redstone there and a repeater there so it doesn't pick up the redstone torch there. And you're gonna fill it up with redstone like that. Okay, and then, so you can get these middle buttons right here wired in, you're going to make a block come off here, and a block come off here. Then you're going to stack two, break the bottom block, stack two, break the bottom block. You're going to place a block there, and then you're going to come from this one here, and then place one there, and then break that one. And you're going to place a repeater here, and then you're going to <clears throat> run redstone across this top thing right here. Like that, like that. So it works just like that. Now what we've done here is we've made it to where each one activates just one repeater. So like pressing one button doesn't activate all of them at once. So then we're just going to do that. We're just going to start filling these things in. Alright, now I forgot to tell you guys. See those torches right there? You're going to want to place a piece of redstone in front of them. Just like that. And then you're going to want to continue building this just place all these repeaters that I do the same slots I do so there's only two that are gonna need two repeaters and the rest will just need one okay so then we're gonna do oh sorry about that I'm gonna use black wool I'm trying to color coordinate here and then not very good at it in case you haven't noticed and then um, behind this center one here so you, know, you got four on each side, you're going to come in here and place some redstone. Then you're going to replace it with a block, and then you're going to put a torch on it, and it'll go down. <clears throat> so now that we've done that, this is optional right here, what I'm getting ready to do. Place some notes on top so you can uh, have a sound when you press your button, which is nice. So I'd recommend this. Plus it helps you follow my video. 
Then you're gonna place some repeaters through here. And then you're gonna place some wool in front of that. Repeaters in front of that. And some red more um, wool in front of that. And then you're just gonna keep doing this as many combination digits as you want. So this is one, this is two. Everyone from this piece on is another digit. So one, two, right there. So this will make three. One, two, three, and then place some more in front of that. And this will make four right here. So this will be a four digit with nine other ones that don't the buttons don't don't affect the door that opens. So it, four digits is plenty enough. It's going to be very hard to guess those four digits. Now, if you guys want to make this bigger, you just keep making more rows like this. But I'm not going to, so. I'm trying to make this video as fast as possible. So, what you're going to do is then is build your frame so you can start wiring in your reset button. You're going to build it that high. <clears throat> and then you're just going to keep going until you get to right here you're gonna build one block up and then you're gonna do this so you have a hole you're gonna place some black wool in there <clears throat> and then finish out your frame like that place a button on there and then black wool behind that black wool a redstone on it and you're gonna run this all the way down to here and you're gonna skip one like right? there's gonna be one extra and you're gonna put some black wool in front of it and run it all the way down to here just like that okay now we're gonna wire in our buttons so what you're gonna do is press your buttons that you want to what the combination you want it to be so say I wanted this to be my first digit I would look up and see which one lit up it was this one so I'll come down to here play some redstone and then fill it all in like that with black wool and then fill this in so it doesn't pick up from these okay so if I wanted my next digit to be this one come back up and look and see which one it was and then I place some redstone there and then fill it in from there and then fill it all in with redstone and then just keep doing that till you get all your digits done. If you want nine, obviously you can just do nine. All nine of them. I definitely wouldn't recommend that for the beginner, but you can definitely do what you want. Because I'm just showing you how to do this. It's up to you what you do with it next. So I'm just going to make sure that button worked, and it did. Okay. So now I'm just going to do one more digit, which is right there. soon okay I'm doing it a little better than I did last time I'm eight minutes so it's like the fifth time I've tried to get this thing cut down to a little bit shorter of a video so now what we're gonna do is is make sure they light up back one the middle one ish this one and then this one so mine's in the shape of an L okay so then what we're going to do is you're going to come to this and you're going to fill this in with some redstone and extend it out one more like that and place some redstone on it. And then you're just going to come in here and put a couple of repeaters so that long redstone signal carries out throughout this entire thing. There's this one too from the edge like this. Okay. Now. What we're going to do is run all this to the ground, except for this one. This one can stay to the ground. Oops. To the ground. To the ground. To the ground. And you might as well just go ahead and run that one to the ground. Hold on. Put myself on some sticky pistons. And what you're going to do is place the sticky pistons going up from each bit of redstone that's carrying out. 
Then you're going to come on this side and you're going to do this. One's going to be hanging out. You're going to come on this side and you're just going to, oops, extend it all the way out and then extend it out two blocks. And you can just match it on this side. Then what you're going to do is you're going to continue this reset button out like this and then put a redstone repeater right there by the first one and then from there you're gonna block it up one like that and then you're just gonna run some redstone on top of it all <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on the side and place a repeater here skip one and place them here skip one place them here skip one place them here skip one place them here and then what you're going to do is you're going to take some wool, stack it here, and then break this block and carry that down to here. <clears throat> then what you're going to do is you're going to fill this all up with redstone. And you're going to want to slap a repeater in here, just like this. There you go. And then you're going to come down here and place your torch, just like that. And then you're going to put a piece of redstone right there so it activates both. And then you have to get this to go down here. So you're going to stagger the box like this. Just like that. So then you're going to run your redstone down just like that and break this block out. This is just extra that you didn't need. And uh, <clears throat> we're almost done now. All you gotta do is put this here for your button, wherever it shall be. Or your door, I mean. Mine's just gonna be a real quick, easy one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish out my frame here. And you can be as creative as you want. All you need is some repeaters. You can make this redstone go way out to over here and open up a door over in this area. Repeaters just extend the amount of redstone, the length of it. So then I'm just going to put myself a door in there. Just like so. And then once I type in my nine digit combo, it should open right up. Mine's actually four. So yours can be as long as it wants, as long as you want it to be. And mine was in the shape of an L. Ta -da. open first try so if you want to add some delay to the time that this thing shuts I'll show you and opens that way you can trick them into thinking they didn't open it see how it shut a little bit fast if I wasn't flying I couldn't get over there so we're gonna open it back up and you're gonna add yourself some delay in here. just put this one on full takes add some more delay in here like oops that and another one right there make sure you add them in the same spot because if you don't it'll cross so if you're adding delay add it where I do and you're gonna come down here do that just like that and then you can come back here and press your reset button and I can make it in now that's all guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe. This takes a lot of work to memorize and get down just right. This is like the fourth time I've tried to get it down past 15 minutes, and I did it successfully this time, so this is what you're going to see on YouTube. So please give me a like, favorite, even a comment, even if you're just going to tell me to screw it myself. So, yeah guys, do all that good stuff, comment, rate, and subscribe, and later, bye.